All right, so um, another boring tutorial on Photoshop uh, Lightroom 2022, um, the newest update. I'm still learning, um, figuring out this new version. Um, I hadn't updated my old one in a long time and was comfortable with how I was editing my photos. And so the computer crashed anyway. I had to get a new one, updated everything, and now I had to relearn this. But it's amazing. I was super pissed off at first. Um, and now that I'm learning it, it's pretty awesome. So making this video mostly as a tutorial for myself so that if I forget something or whatever later date, I can come back and watch this video and not have to refigure it out all over again. So here we go. So now we've got layer masks just like in Photoshop. Um, except they're now they're up here, the masking, your red eye, your spot removal, you know, crop over layer, whatever. Now that just looks different. So, um, anyway, and now you've got all these deals where I mean, you still have kind of had a layer, layer gradient, but you didn't have radial. That's new. That's pretty cool. You can use that for portraits or anything radial that you want to do. And you can select the feather and all that, um, color range, luminance. Uh, but this is pretty awesome. Uh, before when you try to select an object out of Lightroom as such as something as complex as a sky when you've got this amount of detail in these trees around here um, the leaves where they meet the actual sky and then especially inside here and inside of a tree where there's space in the trees in between leaves and branches and so such so a lot of times it would bleed over and just you know look like shit well now this looks amazing um, and so here we go so we'll go and it's basically just like a layer mask so select sky now it's thinking and see it's thinking down here and then boom and it does a really 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 amazing job of this um, shown here in this magenta um, it's absolutely ridiculous and you can come in and just take the overlay off go over here this is my number one mask or mask one, sky one. And I come over here to my sliders and I can just drag that down as much as I want or up as I want or whatnot. And then back to zero where it's at. Now, um, you know, and then click overlay kind of to see what you're doing. You don't want to have that clicked as you're adjusting this obviously because then you can't tell, but it's, it's, <laughs> this is just amazing. And so, you know, take it down here. Okay, cool. Show the mask where you're at, whatever, right? I mean, this is fine. You know, the sky is actually not that... It just looks nice. I mean, the sky in Sacramento here is, looks like crap a lot of times because of all the smoke. But anyway, so now let's go in, and I want to change something else. So we'll add a new mask, and then we'll just go with a brush. And you can do the gradient, you can do the radial. Select subject, so on and so forth. That's more I use that for portraits now. That's which is amazing. Um, which is kind of like the select subject and the updated Photoshop um, to where you can, you know, brush on effects or whatnot. So anyway, so now we'll click brush again, and now I want to um, I'm going to change my shadows over here. So I'm going to increase this just randomly, seventy point seven zero, um, and then just you know, for my exposure anyway, and you can do that with contrast, highlights, shadows, anything you want to change this. I'm just doing how I used to do with my exposure brush on Lightroom before it was updated. And now I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to start painting on the stuff that I want to lighten up. Obviously, like this whole back was, there was a huge contrast between the sky here and this backyard. It's middle of winter here and so the sun's really low in the horizon and so it creates really hard shadows and a lot of contrast in between brights and darks and shadows and whatnot anyway um then up here you come in you can see where it's painting on in the mask itself in the little window up here thumbnail and then obviously you know as you see you can just select it and you can see where it's created the mask and the darker it is that's the more you've gone over it with your brush and then it'll change more and so on and so forth um, but there's your mask you know your number one mask you can hover over it and you can see okay that's my number one mask now you don't even need to have this 
really, I mean, you can just come up here, right, and just go here, and it shows your mask, where you've brushed in or whatever change you've made to it. This is probably the coolest thing for photography ever. Um, it's, once I've learned it, I mean, I'm just, in, I'm in love with it, it's awesome, and this is really helping me out. Um, so anyway, we can come over here now, and, you know, we only adjusted it at 0.73 here, but now we can come in and you can watch the shadows everywhere you paint it. It just gets brighter and brighter and brighter, and you don't necessarily have to go over and brush it again. And I think that's the way. And if there's a different way, great. You know, then I didn't know about it. Whatever. But this is how I'm learning now is just kind of figuring stuff out. And so, you know, and again, I'm not going to totally do this up. I just want to make this short. Um, it's going to take me a little while longer to finish this photo to where I want to get it. But I think that's pretty awesome and again this is a just a tutorial for that and so then we can come over here and I want to do this area over here and I want to darken that just a tad so I'm going to create another mask and with another brush and I'm going to say okay I want to take that down 60 right here and now I'm just going to paint here right in this area that I want painted and I'm just going to go over it a couple times to make sure that I've covered it boom whatever right now I'll come in can adjust it to where I kind of think that it's more even and there's not such a massive contrast between these dark areas and this you know area over here so so on so you know now that looks much better again you can see the suns up here hiding behind this tree um, and then when you're done you know you can go here and see where you painted here and here it's just, just the raddest thing ever for photography and now that I've learned it, I mean, it was frustrating doing it, but this is so rad. So you just click done. Now you can come back to change the entire image if you want to take it up a little bit, adjust your exposure, or, you know, adjust whatever shadows, your haze or dehaze or whatnot. So anyway, I hope this helps somebody. I'm making, making this video mostly just because I'll probably forget some of this stuff, or maybe I will, I don't know. But if I ever do and don't do real estate photography for a while and I need to come back into this or... Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, I hope it helps.